Let's discuss what other roles the original cast of Scream are most known for. A certain rule! Push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula! You wanna play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect! No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I wanna be in the sequel. I'll be right back! Okay, I think it's gonna go something like this. I'm Pamela, welcome back to my channel. Today is a fun video, we're going to discuss what other roles the original cast of Scream are most known for. I did a quick video on this on my TikTok and people seem to like it, so I thought I would talk about it here with you guys. If you're not following me on TikTok, you should definitely go do that. I post a lot more content there pretty much every day, but let's get into it. Also, this is just my opinion, so if you disagree, please let me know down in the comments. First up, we have Skeet Ulrich, who of course plays Billy Loomis, and I think otherwise he's most known for the craft. And same thing goes for Nev Campbell, I think she's most known for the craft, but possibly Wild Things. Wild Things is a great movie, if you have not seen that movie, definitely go check it out. It's full of twists and turns. It honestly really reminds me of the movie The Curve, which Matthew Lillard is in. They're like similar styles in a way. If you've seen both, then you know what I mean. This movie was definitely a big deal when it came out. And I just think they don't make movies like this anymore. It has a great cast and the whole thing is enjoyable. I love The Craft. It's one of my favorite movies that I rewatch every October for spooky season. I think it's so funny that Skeet and Nev were in it together the same year that Scream came out, 1996, but The Craft was before Scream. And I might be wrong, but I think I heard that Nev agreed to do Scream once she heard Skeet was involved. I actually also got to mention Party of Five. This was a show that Nev was on in the 90s, super popular. So some people might actually argue that that's what she's most known for. I've never seen the show though. If you have, leave a comment down below. Next up, we have Matthew Lillard, Stu Mocker. I think he's most known as Shaggy in Scooby-Doo, although I think he has so many different iconic roles. I loved Scooby-Doo as a kid. The first one came out in 2002. The second one came out in 2004. That movie is absolutely iconic. The cast is iconic. We have Freddie Prince Jr. as Freddie, Sarah Michelle Gellar as Daphne, and we also have Linda Cardinelli as Velma. All four of them were just essential to the late 90s, early 2000s. Does anyone remember the awesome trailer for Scooby-Doo? They just don't make trailers like this anymore. Next up, we have Jamie Kennedy, Randy Meeks. I think he's best known for Malibu's Most Wanted. Malibu's Most Wanted, I have not seen in years and years. I was very young when I watched it, so I'm definitely due for a rewatch. Next up, we have Rose McGowan, Tatum Riley. She's definitely best known for Charmed, although some people might say Jawbreaker. I absolutely love Charmed. It's one of my favorite shows. It was one of my favorite shows growing up. I honestly watch it almost every single morning because for as long as I can remember, TNT plays this show early in the morning. So it's very nostalgic for me. It reminds me of getting ready for school because I would always watch it in the morning before going to school. Rose McGowan, of course, replaced Shannon Doherty, who I also loved on the show. It's like hard to pick who I prefer because I honestly loved both of them. I loved the first three seasons with Shannon as Prue. And then when Rose McGowan came in as Paige, she was great in that role also. Jawbreaker is another classic late 90s movie if you haven't seen it before definitely check it out this movie also stars rebecca gayhart who was in scream 2. next up we have courtney cox the iconic gail weathers she of course is best known as monica geller in friends friends is obviously one of the most popular shows of all time in the 90s and still to this day friends was probably the most watched show in the 90s and people still love it. Next up we have David Arquette, Dewey Riley. I'm honestly not sure what he's most known for. I haven't seen many of his projects, but if I had to pick, I would say probably Never Been Kissed, who he stars with Drew Barrymore in that. 
And actually, Marley Shelton is in that too. She plays Judy Hicks. So the three of them, Dewey, Casey, and Judy, were all in Never Been Kissed. Also, the movie Eight-Legged Freaks, but I'll be honest, I never seen that one, but I do hear people talking about it quite often. So probably one of those two, I would say he's best known for. Next up, we have Drew Barrymore, Casey Becker. This one was a little tough also. She already had this established career before Scream. I would probably say her most famous project is E.T., but if I had to pick what she was best known for, I would probably say Wedding Singer. Wedding Singer is one of my favorite movies of all time with Adam Sandler. This movie is so good. Classic late 90s. The story is so good. It's genuinely funny and the music in it is great. Next up, we have Henry Winkler, Principal Hembry. He's definitely best known as the Fonz in Happy Days, which fun fact, if you didn't know, in the scene with Principal Hembry in his office when he's going through his closet, you can see a leather jacket, which is like a little callback to his character, the Fonz. There you have it. Those are the roles that I think the original cast of Scream are best known for outside of Scream. Let me know if you disagree with any of these. Leave a comment down below. What do you think they're best known for? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It definitely helps the algorithm. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future posts, future Scream theories, or Scream 7 updates. Any updates that we get will be posted here to this channel, and I imagine we're going to be getting some updates soon. It's been a little while since we got one, but the second we hear something, you definitely won't want to miss it. Please also go subscribe to my second YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member here on my main channel. You can find the link down in the description or you can find the join button on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.